Well, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the United Church and Rill here at Tinnerworth Road. As many of you know, we're busy preparing to be able to meet together in some small groups for worship next week. An awful lot of work has been done to prepare the building um, uh, for that activity. It's going to be a great joy to be able to gather together, but we're also aware that there are many folk uh, across our church family who don't feel that now is the right time for them to be able to meet with others and to join us. If, if that's you, then please be assured of all of our love and our care for you. Um, the things that we're doing at the moment will all continue in the days ahead. If you're part of one of our small groups, then hopefully one of the elders will have been in touch with you about when your meeting is going to be during the week, starting from next week. When you come to the building, the, um, the building will remain closed actually until 15 minutes before the time when your service is due to start. So if you come in a car and you arrive a little bit before that, please do just stay in the car. Um, it'll be really obvious because the doors will both be open when the building is open. If you're coming on foot, I would try and time it so that you're here not more than 15 minutes before the service starts. Before you enter the building, while you're outside, uh, you will need to adhere to the distance markers which are on the floor. Please don't get any closer than two metres to those who aren't part of your family. And of course, while you're outside, before you enter the building, uh, you'll need to put on your mask unless you're exempt from doing so. Well, while we're on masks, during uh, the time that I'm in the building, I'll wear one of these clear visors, which hopefully means that you can see me communicating and talking, uh, and also allows for me to be able to wear uh, the microphone that is attached to the loop system. So if you rely on the loop system, that will be working during the service. As you enter the building, you'll see in front of you a table. Um, if you happen to have come to church without uh, a mask and you need one, there are a couple on this table here. Do try to wear your own, um, but if you, if you are short of one, then there are some on the table here. And also, as you come in, you will see a sign here that asks you, please, to sanitise your hands on entry and exit of the building. So as you arrive in the building, it's important that you sanitise your hands using the hand sanitizer provided. Whilst you're sanitising your hands, um, you may want to just take a, a moment to look at the posters that are on display as you enter the building. These posters uh, will be very similar to others that you will have seen uh, in community venues and shops and other places around the town, but they are really very important and I would urge you uh, to take note of them uh, and not just walk past them because we're so used to seeing coronavirus posters. The first one is to remind you to wear your mask. That's very important for us as a church to enable us to meet together. The second is a, is a very scary looking poster, but a very serious one that asks you not to enter this building if you or a member of your household has shown coronavirus symptoms in the last 14 days. Those three symptoms are a new persistent cough, a high temperature, or a change or a loss of your sense of smell or taste. If, you're, if you know you have those symptoms, please, please, please uh, stay away uh, and don't come and let somebody know so that we can pray for you and care for you and your household. Also on, this, uh, also on this sheet, you will see some posters telling you the kind of things that are, are really good for us to do while we're in the building, and in fact are necessary for us to do in the building. Washing our hands regularly or using hand sanitizer, uh, wearing a face covering, and keep a social distance. 
We'll come on to the social distance in a moment. Down here at the very bottom of this uh, poster board is, uh, is news of the QR code for the building. If you happen to use the Track and Trace app on your mobile phone, then uh, this is the QR code that you will need to zap as you enter the building to register the fact that you have been here. For those without a smartphone, you don't need to worry. If you haven't got the app, we'll be making a record of who has attended each session and your attendance at the session uh, is your consent for us to be able to share your data with the track and trace folk should they get in touch with us. Finally on this, uh, on this poster display board is, is a large notice telling us that we must stay two metres apart from, uh, from anyone who isn't part of our household bubble. And on the floor as you come into the church and as you leave the church later on you will see distance markers. Please, please, please uh, remain two metres apart from others from the house. I know that will be very difficult because having not seen folk for some time I'm sure you'll want to uh, you'll want to give people a hug, you'll want to get closer to folk than just two meters but uh, it is really important that if we're to uh, if we're to gather together that we uh, we maintain this two meters and discipline ourselves to do so. Once you've read the posters and you've sanitized your hands and you've got your face mask on uh, then do whilst keeping two metres distance, come into church. So as you come into the foyer area at church, um, you won't be able to turn left, uh, which is usually where the toilet facilities were available. There'll be news about toilets in a moment. Um, but there is no access into the hall. Um, you come straight round uh, to the right. And as you come through the porch area, there are yet some more posters which are important for us. Um, the first is that there is a one-way system in place in the building. So as you enter into the building, uh, you won't be coming back through the foyer. So um, you shouldn't really be bringing much with you anyway, but don't leave anything behind that you're going to have to turn around for later um, because you won't be able to go back the way that you came. Um, we need to keep the one-way system. And if you get confused about that, don't worry. Um, there'll be plenty of people on hand to, to show you the way. And also a second notice, just to remind you to keep to those two metres. As you enter into the church then you'll see that the chairs have been placed uh, at a two metre distance. Please, please, please don't move any of the chairs. They're there for a particular reason, all spaced out, to ensure that we can get uh, all of the folk who have signed up to the small groups into the building whilst maintaining that social distance of two metres. When you enter the building we're going to ask folk to uh, to fill up the church sanctuary from the front. So as you come into the building, you need to make your way to the front. And I know um, there's that hidden rule in church that you don't sit on the very first row. Um, I'm afraid uh, we really must um, to ensure that everybody can get in. So if you are the first to arrive, um, first through the doors, then you will need to come and sit down at the very front of the church. But as, as other folk arrive, just take the next available seat towards the back. If you come by yourself, then do sit on a seat that um, takes up two chairs. That's, that's absolutely fine. Um, if you come as a couple, then please do sit together from in your household bubble. If there's more than two of you in, the, in a group, then obviously we know that you are coming and we'll have set aside an extra chair or however many that you need uh, for your household group. If you're coming in a wheelchair, that's absolutely fine. Again, we know that you're coming and we'll remove one of the chairs from uh, the twos to enable you to sit together with your carer and household members. So make your way down to the front of the church. And take your seat. All of the seats, in fact everything in this room, will have been cleaned and uh, sanitised before you come to worship. 
Uh, you'll have noticed that there are no soft furnishings in the building and that includes uh, the cushions that we often had on the wooden seats here at Tinnerworth Road. If you're going to need a cushion, if you really think that you need a cushion to sit on, then do bring one with you and, uh, uh, and make sure you take it away with you afterwards. The same is true about refreshments. There'll be no refreshments, there'll be no cups of tea after the service, unfortunately. And no drinks available uh, for the service, even, even a glass of water. And I know some of you uh, would have had a glass of water for the service. If you're going to need a drink, then please, again, bring it with you in a water bottle um, and remember to take it away with you. However, whilst we're on drinks, you may also want to know about the toilets. Um, as I said earlier, the main toilets are out of action. There is one toilet available in, in, a, in an emergency situation. I would uh, encourage you to try not to have to need to use it, but I know even saying that probably means that some people will, will think about it all of the time that they're here and will need to use the toilet. There is a toilet available. It is the one by the vestry um, and there is some disabled access to it also. Well, I'm going to lead the act of worship uh, that we gather for uh, from here, from the, from the front of church using the lectern. Uh, the service uh, will be uh, as much like what we able, would be able to do on a Sunday as possible. Uh, the service will include prayers, uh, Bible reading, some thoughts from me and some more time to pray. Unfortunately, we're not able to sing together, but there may be a, a piece of music to listen to for reflection. The service will last around about half an hour to 45 minutes at the very most. If during that time you feel as if you develop uh, COVID symptoms, if you suddenly start coughing or have a high temperature or lose your sense of taste or smell, then you must let someone know and there's a, there's a room set aside for you to be able to, to use. At the end of the service, you'll be invited one household at a time to leave the sanctuary. We do that by walking down to the front of church whilst maintaining a social distance from those in front of us. If you're in a wheelchair, then there will be a ramp at the front where that little step is at the front of church. And you head towards the double doors by the side of the organ. Again, you'll see some tape on the floor marking out that two meter social distance. Here at the side, you'll see uh, a place where you can, if you wish to, leave your offertory. I know a number of folk are now giving online or through uh, other means to our Treasurer Direct. I, I would encourage you to carry on doing that, but if you wanted to leave your offering uh, in church, then you can do so in the box just here. Again, maintain a social distance as you walk through to the hall. As you leave through those double doors, you'll come into the church hall, and there's a path right across the church hall towards the fire exit door. Do keep moving through the area, keeping a social distance, and as you go through the hall, there is again uh, a place for you to sanitize your hands. Do ensure that you sanitize your hands on the way out. You head across the hall and towards the fire exit where there is a ramp back down to the car park. Again, maintaining that social distance. Well friends, I hope that's been helpful for you to see how the building is laid out and some of the practical things that we can do to ensure that we remain as safe as we can uh, during our time here at Tinnerworth Road. I'm really looking forward to, to worshipping alongside others uh, once more in our building as we gather together. 
It goes without saying that if, uh, if there are any changes to the regulations or any lo local lockdown changes, um, then we'll have to make changes to the plans that we have in place. And some of those could be made at very short notice. Also, if you uh, haven't signed up to join one of our small groups, and at some point in the future, either now or in, in the weeks ahead, you feel as if you would like to join one of those groups, then do just get in touch and we'll make sure that you are uh, invited and, uh, and a part of what is going on. As a church family, whether you come to one of these small groups or not, um, I believe that we are united together in our fellowship, one with each other and in our faith of the Lord Jesus Christ and each and every single one of us, whether you come to a building over the next couple of weeks or not, is a special and precious part of our church family and every single one of us um, is called to look out and to love and to care for others within our church and across our community. And so as we finish this little video, I'd encourage you to join me in prayer. Let's pray. Lord God, we want to thank you for the opportunity that has arisen for some of us to be able to gather together to worship you here at Tinnerworth Road. Lord God, as we do that over these next few days for the first time, we pray that you would be with all of us right across our church family, that you would encourage us, that you would have your hand of protection upon us, you would keep us safe but that the encouragement from meeting together will be of great value and worth. Lord God, we pray for those who feel that they're not yet able and ready to return to gather together with others in our building. Lord God, I pray that you would encourage them, support them. May they know your love and your presence. Lord God, in all of the worship that we offer that in our homes and here in our buildings, we pray that you would be glorified and honoured and we would know the power and presence of your Holy Spirit working in our lives and through your church. We ask it for the sake of the name of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. Well, while all these small groups are meeting, the main act of worship that I would encourage all of us to be involved in is the uh, act of worship that happens on a Sunday online at YouTube on this very channel. And that goes live every Sunday at five o'clock with an encouragement that folk right across our community and beyond join us at six o'clock. It's wonderful that even in these really difficult days, we're still able to worship our God in spirit and in truth and lift up the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you richly. See you soon. God bless. Bye.